In this video, I'll show you how to create a multi-step checkout with field customization and conditional fields. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, so throughout this video, I'll show you how you can create a multi-step checkout similar to this one. Okay, and we can customize the design as well, and we can customize the field. We can also add conditional section as well. So for example, this section here is a conditional section, and it's only showing because we've got this particular product in our basket. So if we remove it, and let's head back over to our checkout page, and then now we don't have that missed section, right? Because that was conditionally being shown based on a product that's in our basket. Okay, so if you want to create a similar setup on your WooCommerce store, the first step is to head over to aovup.com. Go ahead and download the all-in-one checkout plugin by AOVUP. I'll leave a link in the description below. And with that being said, let's head over to our dashboard. Okay, so assuming you've downloaded the all-in-one checkout plugin, the next step is to go ahead and upload that plugin. So we go plugins, add new, go ahead and upload and install the plugin. Okay, so now we can go ahead and create our multi-step checkout. So we'll head over to AIO checkout for all-in-one at checkout. Okay, and then the first step is to create a new checkout form. So we'll just click create new checkout here. And then by default, we'll see these fields here. So we'll see our billing fields, shipping details, order summary, shipping and payment. Okay, okay so to create our multi-step checkout, we just need to click this plus icon. Okay, and then to rename the step, we'll just click on this settings icon here. And then we can name this one so we can say billing and shipping. Okay, and then we can do the same for step two. We can say payments. Okay, we'll head back over to our first step here. If you want to add additional fields to your checkout, you can just click on this settings icon here. And then we can just drag and drop the different fields onto our canvas here. I'm just going to delete this one. You can rearrange existing fields. You can hide them as well. Okay. And we can also add new sections. So let's move this back to the top. So we can add a new section here. And we can rename the section. So we can say, for example, okay, that looks fine. And then here we can just add some fields. For example, I've added this select box field. And for the option, I'll just add the label to say, how did you hear about us? And then for the option, we can just add our options here. OK, so for example, we can say search and we can say maybe friends. OK, and then we'll just repeat the label here, but in lowercase. And you get the idea. So you'll just add your options here and we can exit this off. So I'm going to delete this since I've already created it here. If we want to create a conditional section, we'll just click on this settings icon. Then we'll head over to conditions and then we can just click on this conditional tab here. And then we just make sure we enable conditional logic. And then we only want to display this field whenever certain conditions are met. We can also change it to hide. So maybe we only want to hide this field when certain conditions are met. Okay. But in this case, I'm going to select show. The relationship can be and or or. So if you've got multiple rule, you can say if any of those rule matches, then show this section. Or you can select and and it will say if the product is and the category is only then show this particular rule. Okay. So you can stack various different rules. Um, so far, we can create a condition based on a product that's in our basket, based on a product category, the product tag. And in the future as well, we'll base it on a product field as well. So in the future, so for example, this select box option, we could say if a customer select that they heard from us from friends, then maybe we want to display this additional field, which requests some extra information from them. Okay, just to give you an idea of what's to come. For this example, I'm going to keep it super simple. So I'm going to say show this section if the category is, let's say, our action category. Okay, and that's it. By default, this section will be hidden unless the customer has a product in their basket, which is from our actions category. Okay, so now we can just head over to design. And then here we can use our theme default design on a single column page or a multi column page, or we can choose one of our design here. Let's use this one, or you can create a new design from scratch. I'll leave a link on screen to a video showing you how to do that. And for the thank you page, again, we can go ahead and use our theme default design, or we can use one of our custom design, or you can create one from scratch. So let's click on settings. Let's enable this checkout. Let's set it as our global checkout. For the checkout name, you can rename it just for internal purposes. For the slug, we can ignore this. And since this is our global checkout, it will automatically apply it to everyone. We can customize the place or 
order button, we can say complete order for example. And then for these options, I'll leave it blank for now. If you want to enable Google address auto complete, I'll leave a link on screen showing you the steps to do so. So let's just hit save changes. So let's go ahead and test this out. Okay, so I've already got a few items in our basket. Let's head over to the checkout page. If you want to create a similar site card area to this one, this is powered by the all-in-one checkout plugin as well. I'll leave a link on screen showing you how to do so. So let's click checkout and then let's scroll down. And then here we can't see that miss section that we added. Okay, so if we click to the next page, we're still unable to see it because we don't have a product in our basket, which is from the actions category. So let's go ahead and add a product from that category. And then we should be able to see that conditional section. So now let's go ahead and check out. Okay, and when we scroll down, now we're able to see this conditional section here. And that's a quick and simple way to create a multi-step checkout. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave it in the comment box below or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.